if the reports coming in from Brooklyn are to be believed. These Spider-Men have grown more powerful than we feared. Magic portals, subway cars disappearing off the tracks, fire engines flying through the night sky, and the newer Spider-Man at the center. Webbing and property damage weren't enough. Now we add mystical arts into the mix. Does their desire for destruction know no bounds? I almost feel sorry for this lost soul. Groomed for a life of criminality and degradation. Speaking of it, it seems Spider-Man was cohorting with notorious thief, the Black Cat. Their costumes must be cut from the same corrupt cloth. If their entanglement doesn't paint a clear enough picture of Spider-Man's intent, then here's a little story for you. The Spider-Men show up, and the group we now know as the Hunters follow. Clearer now? These Spider-Men are magnets for malefactors. Now, the Black Cat seems to have vanished. Good riddance! If magic is indeed real, then we must hope upon hope that someone out there is using it for good and will erase the stain in our city known as the Spider-Men. May we go one day without another spider incident. That should work for Robbie. Ah, the Manhattan Bridge. Can you believe they started building it in 1901? Finished in 1909. I thought it was old when I was a kid, but now? It's just amazing the history that's in this city. the latest greatest in energy research. These wind turbines are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, they are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the web wings. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Court and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel.
can such tiny turbines create so much energy? Now to deploy! Fly free, little turbine! Kabam! One more! There we go! Great! They're all happily launched! I'll just head back... The turbine's been compromised? What? How? Need to check on that! <laughs> Gotta get up there. What is going on up there? Talon drones attacking the turbine. I've gotta stop them. You guys again? I really wish we'd stop meeting like this. Stay out of our way, and we won't have to. Uh, really? I'm in your way? Get down here! Get this turbine back in place. There. All up and running. I should make sure Dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these. No fatalities. Small blessings. But we have got a lot of unknowns. Who perpetrated the attack? Who was the man who helped Spider-Man? I've got to be honest, folks. This is giving me not good flashbacks to the underground and rocks on brawls of last year. Here's hoping that with two Spider-Men in town, we can steer away from more citywide chaos. <sighs> Anyone who tells you these things happen for a reason should be cursed with... Wet socks. Forever. Okay? 
Come on. Let's see what else this thing can do. What are you doing? Science, buddy. I'm doing science. <laughs> so, Spider-Man, you told MJ, but not your best friend? To protect you. I, I wanted to. Right. Yeah, I get it. And that kid you're tutoring, he's the other one? Uh, a lot happened while you were in that tank. Trust me. I know. <laughs> nice and gentle. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee. It looks like it's gonna be a long night. What the hell happened here? Um, we were, we were just, um, doing some experiments. Where's Dr. Connors? Uh, maybe he took the day off? No. He doesn't take days off. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call you later. I need a minute. Harry's got superpowers? This is all happening so fast. Wait, what's that? Hey guys, I'm getting a strange spider bot signal. You got that too? Uh, Genki, you testing something? I was just about to call you guys. A bunch of them just pinged the network out of nowhere. They're using some funky wireless protocols. I'll check it out and let you know what I find. Uploading info to the Spidey server. Got it. I'll keep an eye out for more. Send me the data when you find them. I'll try to track down who made them. Hey, long night? Hey, MJ. Harry and I stayed up doing tests on his suit. And we may have had too much pizza. It was really nice. <laughs> Just like the good old days. So I gotta know, what's Harry's radioactive spider? I've never seen anything like this before. It's some kind of exosuit that completely eradicates any trace of his disease. Dr. Connors really outdid himself this time. That's incredible. And great timing, considering what happened at the park. Any leads on where they might have taken Tombstone? Not yet. But if I hear anything, you're my first call. Oh, you're the best. Yeah, I know. Okay, what's next? Good, good. Is that a good photo, Spider-Man? They sent it to the student newspaper. The Spider-Man aren't the only superheroes in New York. Getting students to class on time? One of the greatest powers I've ever seen. Oh, 
Hey, Yuri. I tracked the followers of the flame to an abandoned clinic in Chinatown. We go together, maybe we'll find their boss. So you can leave them to die too? Not unless I have to. Look, this cult needs to be stopped. If you want to come along, it'd make things easier. But I don't need you. If I went, I could keep an eye on her. an old Grand Master playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Damn. Never seen anything like it. Got something for you. Head to this location. Felicia? Hey, Felicia. Heard some chatter. Call you back, bye! Hope Dr. Foster doesn't mind if Spider-Man helps Peter out. Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, Please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. There has to be a healthy looking plant around here somewhere. really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. and bearing more fruit than ever. Just imagine what Feast could do with all of that. 
Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Yikes, gotta patch this up. Some webs should do the trick. to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Hmm. The pipe's blocked by that cart. Just a few more to patch up. <laughs> Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? I think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Hey, spiders. Got something for you. Head to this location. Felicia? Hey, Felicia. Heard some chatter about the steel foundry in Williamsburg off a radio I swiped from those hunters. Sounds like tombstones there. He could use your help. Thanks. Glad you're all right. Did you make it to Paris in time? Yeah, I did. Figured I owed you one. Both of you. Even if the other Spider-Man couldn't be bothered to make an appearance. Uh, yeah. About you can the... save the explanation. We've both moved on. He's a good one, by the way. He really is. Well, thanks for the tip. Not sure I'd be able to find Tombstone in time without you. Yeah, thanks. Take care of yourself. Those fashion school rejects won't be getting the drop on me again. Ta-ta, spiders. Miles, let me take this one. You're gonna miss your essay deadline. What if... If Lee's there, I'll take care of him. Spider-Man can wait. Miles can't. All right. Just keep in touch. Hope Felicia's lead was right. Gotta get to Tombstone before Craven crosses him off his list, too. Have you heard the one about the criminal who went to prison and came out a better person? Me either! But that's what Quentin Beck would have us believe. 
after his numerous crime sprees. <laughs> Who could forget when he made Spider-Man look like a moron chasing an imaginary flying bus of school children while he made off with two million in diamonds. He finally landed himself where he belonged, behind bars. <laughs> now he's out and wants us to accept him back into society as a fully rehabilitated individual. Let me tell you something. I know one thing to be 100% certain. People do not change. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I don't know if this was a clerical error in our judicial system, but there is no way this man has paid his dues and repented for the damage he's caused. Do not trust this con artist. Attend his attractions at your own risk. And while we're at it, I can think of two other costume criminals that belong in prison with Beck. But that's for another podcast. If you can hear me, Marco, not interested in a puppet show. that sand crystal. I ask them what they want, and all they say is, the beast inside me. But that ain't been me for a long time. Just like I promised you. Marco gave up Sandman for his daughter. And Craven forced it out of him for a stupid hunt. Yeah. Not in my neighborhood. Hope I'm not intruding! Never! Let's do this! Oh. It's the shot! What's the matter? Two Spider-Man, two tough! There's a problem with your VTOL. Let me take care of it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Someone needs help with a photography project. Not sure how Spider-Man can help, but I'll give it a try. Stolen tech. Hey, gotcha. Hello to you as well. Ah. Uh. I wanted to get a candid shot. I want to be a real photojournalist, you know? Document the city as it is. Like this photo, captured by Peter Parker. That was his first cover photo way back in the day. I want to do that. Oh, wow. Can't believe you have this. First cover. I think I actually remember when he took that. Mr. Jameson, it's Peter Parker. I called about selling you some photos. See, my uncle just passed and our mortgage is due and- Parker, I didn't ask for your life story. Sorry. I'm sitting outside the bugle finishing my coffee. If you can get here before I'm done, I'll look at your photos. But I'm warning you, I drink fast. But Mr. Jameson, I'm biking down Fifth. The traffic- If you want something, you go after it. What? Tell me something. Are you a New Yorker or some slack dog tourist? Um. New Yorker? Then when something's in your path, you yell, coming through! And if something blocks you, go around. New Yorkers always find a way. You know why people live in this town? Hey, Is it the cheap around. rent? The low oh, cost of living? No. This godforsaken hellhole is the greatest city ever created. Oh no! Fish! Stop looking for an excuse and keep going! Ugh, the Great smell! Ball. Breathe it in, Parker! That's old to big apple! Uh, Mr. Jameson, I should focus on the road! Oh, am I boring you, Parker? No, sir! Then focus on this! I'm gonna guide you every step of the way! Oh no, construction ahead! I'll never get it! Eyes on the prize, Parker! Excuse me, can I come through? You're a New Yorker! Tell them you're coming through! Say, look out, halfwit! These are my streets! Hey! Halfwit! Don't oh, sorry, excuse me! Scooting by! Uh, Parker? Pathetic! Be a man about it! Show them your me- Almost there. I'll cut through Washington Square Park. I'm a few steps away from killing this coffee, Parker. You better haul ass. Kid's gonna get himself killed. Thanks! Stop sounding so timid! Sorry! And stop apologizing! Is that guy getting mocked? Ugh, happens all the time, Parker! Act like you live here! Be a New Yorker! A million people in this city, sweetheart. Spidey ain't coming. Hey! Leave him alone! What'd you say, you little toothpick? Hey! What are you, a tourist slack mouth? 
move. Just kidding! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> You want some dirt in your face? Like both eyes! That would really hurt! What'd you say, you little toothpick? Hey, what are you, a tourist slack mouth? <laughs> Just kidding! Wow, this guy's trying to be mean. That's it. He's going down. You want some dirt in your face? Like both eyes! <laughs> that would really hurt! Now I gotta hit you harder for being so bad at that! Tear you apart, you little nerd! Did your mom get that ski mask for you? Because it's really cute! Seriously! What'd you say, you little punk? The bigger you are, the... that you're fat! I didn't mean that! I did it! And it was fun, even. You okay? I am. Because you stopped to help. Thanks. Looks like they roughed up my bike, too. Uh oh, my photos. All but one of them are ruined. May needs this money. And I need this job. I can do this on foot. I have to. Out of the way! I'm a New Yorker! Coming through, people! Come on, come on! Where is he? Mr. Jameson? Peter Parker. You're late. I have something you're gonna want to put on the front page of the Bugle. Cocky little guy, aren't you? Just trying to wear my confidence on the outside. Like a New Yorker. Parker, this is terrible. Your lighting is flat, your composition is awful. God knows why you're shooting on film like some kind of caveman. And your nose is bleeding. But you're in luck. I need a picture of the spider creep for tomorrow's front page. Congratulations! You're officially a Bugle photographer. Really? Thank you, sir. You won't regret it. Are you okay? Because you've been staring at us for like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, can you tell me how to meet this guy? Peter Parker? You don't want his career. You want yours. But what I can tell you is that he learned to go after what he wanted. And if one route didn't work, to find another way around. Okay. I'll find another way. Give me an action shot I can bring to the Bugle. Oh, well, sure. This good? Yeah, and when you jump, angle left so I get your silhouette. I, I will. 
You got it. Ready, set, jump! Go, Spidey! See you next time! Look out, turkeys! New York are coming through! Can't let killer robots just roam the streets. jumpy for at least the next 20 minutes. Sometimes, I worry with all the terrible things that happen in our city. People will be afraid to leave their homes, live their lives. But not today. are everywhere. Come on! Can't you just give me the crystal and I'll be on my way? Ugh. Sorry, guys, but I'm not leaving without that sand crystal. Ah! 
Marco. What's going on in that head of yours? I tell them to leave us alone, but they don't care. They shoot me with a net, try to hold me down, and I was sand before I knew it. I'm so ashamed, but I had no choice. I gotta get back to you. Marco had to do something, or else he'd be just like Scorpion right now. That should work for Robbie. Protesting isn't just the constitutional right in New York. It's your civic duty. Especially when a multinational corporation is behind a bioweapon unintentionally getting released into the city. Are you taking applications? Love to work with you. Boo! weather like this all the time. And you're telling me this because... Hunters are trying to stake out a roof. Why has it been done? I don't care what they do. Why haven't you done it? Looking tech kind of lets you down today, yeah, fellas? That looks expensive, sorry! Time do your ambushes in the streets like normal criminals.
Excuse me? I really don't see anything romantic in proposing. It is very romantic to be in love, but there's nothing romantic about a definite proposal. Why, one may be accepted. One usually is, I believe. Then the excitement is all over. The very essence of romance is uncertainty. If I ever get married, I'll certainly try to forget that fact. Yeah, that's too, it's just too easy. Cass and Roger won't go for it. Good, good. Oh, do you two have shots, Spider-Man? I could actually use a new one. Whether it's on the stage or in the open air, where else can you see legends and soon-to-be legends performing every day? London? That's really far away. Our third up junk. Probably the manager. Cannot believe I'm finally in New York. What should I see first? Let's see what Dr. Young is up to out here. Peter, thank you so much for helping us out with our machine learning trials. Similar to what you did in the Emily May Foundation, we're now teaching our drones what to do in the wild. Once you get yourself set up, this recording will continue. Okay, let's get up and running. This is a two-part trial. First, you need to teach the drone what it should target to protect our bumblebee population. Great. Let's train some bee drones. Oh, and you need to do it before the drone depletes its charge. Sorry, we're working on battery life. Got it. Let's go. No thanks, bee-eating wasps. Who oh, knew rats ate bees? In the second part of the trial, you'll teach the drone to identify and mark optimal nest sites. Be real estate, here we go. Look for the flags. These are ideal relocation spots. Here we go.
Careful, low battery. Oh, man. Whee! You've completed the set. The drone will self-pilot home and upload the data. Thank you, Peter. That should be some good stuff for the AI. Hope Dr. Young finds it helpful.
have we got here? Hello, Peter. Welcome to the real world trial for our ultra efficient battery bicycles. Nice. We'd love you to take a bike for a spin, passing through 10 checkpoints to measure real world battery metrics. Head to the bike rack in Central Park and hop on. Your badge will grant you access. No need to make headlines. Oh, this is a job for plain old Pete. I can't believe Sandman is back. Now to grab one of these sweet state-of-the-art rides. to that first checkpoint. Checking in at the checkpoint. Ooh, concert happening today. I've been to some great shows in the park. Hey, that sign will make a good ramp. Awesome! You got a little air on that one! Harry and I used to go to concerts out here every summer. Maybe we can bring that tradition back. Check. That's not right. I don't think this bike was supposed to provide its own fireworks. This isn't safe. At this rate, the battery will overheat and explode. I've got to hurry and get it to the bike station, where it can drain the charge safely. Together. The bridge is blocked. Gotta get over there somehow. battery will safely drain, but I've got to tell Dr. Wynn a short circuit seems to have caused thermal runaway. If it didn't happen in the lab, I'll bet fluctuating outdoor temperatures are the culprit. I've got some ideas for better thermal regulation. Lot of nesting boxes.
Peter, thanks for your help here. As before, we're training the drones to identify predators like rats and beetles, so they can guard the bees' nesting boxes. Okay, let's get things booted up. Time for target practice. Bee bodyguards, Queen's edition. Giving new meaning to Queen's Bee. That's a big guy. Rat attack, rat. This is a strange job. Unidentified predator detected. Uh oh, what's that? Better go check that out. Whoa, that bird. It's going after the nests, trying to eat the bees. Aha, Neuropody albicollis, the white throated bee eater bird. It's right there in the name. I need to shoot this bird back to wherever it came from. I wonder if this drone has a real-world mode. Cool. Now I can really encourage this bird to get going. If I can find out where it came from, I can see if there are others. Hey! Bird! I can't follow you if you don't move! Get going! Mush, mush, birdie. Keep it moving, buddy. Gotta shoot him to scoot. Gotcha, birdie. Can't have you eating up the bees of queens or the queen bees. This is your home. You must have escaped from here and gone out for a snack. Doors propped open. Better close it before you escape again. Got it. Okay, I think I'm done for now. The drone will pilot its way back to home base in no time. I'm not sure bee-eating birds are a citywide threat, but I'll mention it to Dr. Young. We should definitely program the drones to look for outliers like that. Okay, Dr. Young, bring it on. Hello, Peter. Let's do one last training session. You know the drill. Help the drone identify predators as well as optimal nesting sites. Just gotta boot up the drone. Let's do some target practice. Prospect Park. Yes. Let's mark those nest sites. Got the 
Bugs? Yeah. Let's get it back to the garage. What? What just happened? Did someone steal the drone? Oh. I'll head to its last location before it went dark. See if I can figure out where it went. Hmm. No sign of it. Or anyone. Those guys said something about a garage. There's a few close by. If I can find the right one, I should be able to reconnect to the drone from the roof. Better start checking out these garages. Nothing here. On to the next. Connect the video signal. What is this place? And more importantly, how do I get in there? Lots of cages in here. More bees. I don't know why these guys are collecting bees. I know they don't belong cooped up in here. I'd better turn on that sonic laser mode. Let's kill two bees with one shot. I free them, and then they'll help me get that door open. Contestants on foot to the face. Your men! Drone, safety mode. Fly home! Alright, guys, you gotta tell me. Bees? What? You never heard of niche market? Yeah, but this is like niche niche. No, we're not taking notes from a guy dressed like a spider. Knock him into next week! Definitely let Dr. Young know about this poaching operation. It's no good for the bees, real or drone.
My best friend's kid painted this. I remember her showing me a sketch of it the day before it went up. New York is nothing without its people. to break it to you, but the beach is that way! this crystal in peace. I lose the grapes at the school and come home. Walk through the front door. But you're not there. They are. What have they done to you, Kimia? Craven's real twisted for putting Marco's kid in the middle of all this. Gotta look for more crystals to find out what happened. Marco's memory is returning, and he's agitated. The doctors are piecing together what happened. It, it sounds like it's not all his fault. I'll let you know if I hear more.
Just how many of you are there? What are you protecting? To our regularly scheduled programming. Sand crystal time. I start yelling, losing my cool. If they did anything to you, I can feel the sand about to take over. And then they splash me with some chemical. Don't know what it is, but trying my hardest to stay awake, I'm fading fast until. I see. Black. Must have used some strong stuff to knock out Sandman. But what happened to Kemia? Is that a weapons deal going down? Told you we don't do long range. Not our style. I think I saw someone. There! Take him out! Hope you guys kept your receipts! Crush him! Get you to an ambulance in no time. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. We're almost there. There. You're all set. And I hope the worst is over now. Thanks a ton. Man, people really don't appreciate you enough.
at that snout. There we go. Hunter's getting resupplied. I've still got plenty of time to disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> 